name is Jamie Purvis. I'm a screen reader tester for the Digital Accessibility Centre and today we're going to be looking at uh, Access IQ website. Okay, so there's three major areas of navigation that I can use with JAWS. The first one is the form fields dialog box. So I'll bring that up with insert an F5. Select a form field dialog. List one, list view, keywords edit, one of seven to move to item view. Okay, this is so this is anything that needs filling in, such as um, text fields or um, drop down boxes. Section combo box all sections. Combo boxes. Search button. Quantity edit one. Remove button. Okay, Quantity so edit one. There's an example where this is an edit field. So if I can enter in there. Enter. Edit one. Type of text. Blank one. Okay, there's text in the in the edit field. Blank. Um, normally, you, you we would expect it to disappear. Um, some users may not be aware that the text is there, and they may try and enter a quantity such you know twenty five, six or twenty six. But they may they won't realize that. Tab, remove button. Um, Skip tab. Edit one hundred twenty six. The one was still there, so it's, it's escalated the con the quantity up to one hundred and twenty six. So basically, we'll delete and. Space. That and then in, enter a, con, a quantity. Two. Tab. Remove button. So now that we've done that, the quantity is stable and we can submit it. Um, if the if the text disappears as soon as the user enters forms mode, there'll be no issue. Okay. Shop. Heading list dialog. Heading. These are the headings, which are for content. This is insert into F6. And basically, this helps users reach different sections or headlines, if you like, as, as a newspaper on a, on a web page. Um, we look for a logical and hierarchical order. So the first heading we'd come to should be at H1. Access IQ colon 1. Search colon 2. Then each each section then would be H2 and where or if or where <coughs> excuse me subsections are used they would be H3 and 4 depending on the size of the subsection. Um, Main menu colon 3, you are here colon 3, shopping cart colon 1. So we have two H1s on this page. Uh, technically, this one is correct because it's the page itself is called Shopping Cart, and the H1 is Shopping Cart. In most cases, that's how we would expect the headings to be. The H1 would reflect the page that we're on, but on this page oh, there are IQ one. two heading level ones, and this is see, this is a generic heading which appears on all pages. Search colon two, escape. Access uh, most pages. Access IQ. Um, Edit. Sir, access IQ colon one. Search colon two. Main menu colon three. See the generic order there. Feature content colon two. Let me go back to two. Just a rice and malice vulgate colon three. Uh, this is template so that some of the headings will have uh, temporary Latin. Uh, when, until they wait text labels. Find solutions colon two. Manage colon three. Topic one colon four. Topic two colon four. Topic three colon four. So you can assume they are subsections of the H two, but they're Ma ma manage colon three. This is a three. Find solutions colon two. So there you see that uh, the H two is find, find solutions. Solution, manage colon three. Manages the the subsection and then topic one, call it four. Topic one topic, two, topic and three, three call it four. are the subsections of manage. So that that's a good example of, of a logical order. But then it goes back to a three, Design, call it three, H three, instead of a two, um, which kind of suggests that this may still be a subsection of the H two. This is this is why. Screen reader users would rely on a, a heading structure to let them know which content is relevant to what they're looking at and how it relates to other content on the page. Escapes. The final one is links. 
Links list dialogue. Links list view. Jump to navigation. One of fifty-two. So it brings up all, every link on this particular page or any particular page that we cut, that we're looking at. I can bring up in a list. It's for quick navigation, really. Um, so we'll go through the links now, and I'm looking for descriptive, clear labeling, so that I can understand what each link is uh, does. Jump to search. Jump to navigation. You usually see that. The Jump skip, to search. Skip to. But, uh, Jump to main content. So three. Jump Home. to. Access IQ, Facebook, Twitter. LinkedIn, Google Plus, RSS, Register, Login, Cart, Learn Understanding Web Accessibility, Create Implement News, Keeping Up with Developed Events, Con Participate, Marketplace Service, Marketplace, Accessic.demonsmedia.com slash number. Okay, so on first thing that sounds like, on first read, that sounds like a URL. Or pause. So now this one is a pause link. If I move to it, in the context of the All page. Dead. pause link. Okay, so I'm link pause list end. Link access to list link pause. There's nothing Land heading level two Land link list end. around it that tells me link what pause. this link relates to. Um link <coughs> list so dialogue. not only link list. is it slightly vague when in the links list, but it's also slightly vague in the context of the page. Current tab colon manage. And we have current tab colon manage, which again design. If current I tab that, colon manage. All dead. Design. Same page link. Current tab colon manage. List of same same page link design. Same list of four. Same page link. Current tab. list of four. Heading level two. Find solutions. That we are in the find solutions. So when you look at through the context of the page, some things do actually become clearer. Links list dialogue. What we ask Links is list. that uh, the labels are clear enough in the first instant, instance so that they make sense both in context and when viewed in any dialogue box that screen reading software may have. 